What's up, my random friends? So tomorrow, they are starting to repave more of our apartments. This time, it really affects us because they're doing the area where we park. We can't get our cars in or out, so I have to go park my car on the side street over there so that I don't get my car towed tomorrow morning because that would suck. Simba just wants to nap. He is sleepy. So it is well past dinner time. I sort of fell asleep for a little while. These things happen. So for dinner, I'm not going to go for the normal Monday night special, which is top ramen with the vegetarian buffalo wings. I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to give this garlic and herb Alfredo macaroni and cheese a shot because it sounds delicious. These cookies turned out amazing. I brought some to work today and everybody was going crazy saying they were so delicious and they didn't believe that I baked them myself. But I did. You guys saw me. I'm really not sure how this macaroni and cheese that isn't cheese is going to turn out. But it smells pretty good. I'm uh, stirring in the powder as we speak. We'll see how it turns out. All right, it's dinner time. I tasted this pasta already. It's actually pretty decent. It's got a weird taste to it, but it's, I mean, it's good. Time for the flyover. Here we go again with this little cuddler. This is what made me fall asleep earlier. He wouldn't let me go. He's not really feeling well. He has a fat lip because he has allergies. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, fat lip. During the springtime, he always ends up with a fat lip because I think he's allergic to all the pollen in the air. So then the whole springtime, we call him fat lip as a little nickname. So somebody asked the other day about my cat's names. Uh, I have Simba and BB. They are confused often because they're both orange cats, and if you don't know that one's lighter than the other, you probably just think I might just have one cat. But I have two, Simba and BB. Uh, Simba is, he's like the runt of the litter. He's the one, he has a lot, like he has health problems sometimes. He has the fat lip and um, his paws swell up sometimes. I don't know, he gets like infections. Ah, he's, he's prone to a lot of stuff. BB is the big, fat, huge 18 pound guy and he is not the runt of the litter. Uh, when we picked him up, we, I found these people on Craigslist that were selling cats and kittens, selling kittens. So I went to their house, it ended up being like an hour away from me, it was super far, I had no idea it was gonna be that far. Um, it was like right when I first moved here, a couple months after I had been here. And we went to the house and they wanted $100 a piece for the cats for a rehoming fee. And I was like, look dude, I just moved here from California, I want to give the cats homes, and I would like to have two of them. So when we walked in the door, Simba came running up to us, and he was like playing with the laces on my shoes and rolling around and being all cute, and saying, he's like, oh, I think this one chose us, so we had chosen him, you know, obviously right off the bat. And then there was a few other cats running around, and we were like, hmm, which one should we get? And I wanted this tuxedo cat, because I've always had good luck with tuxedo cats, they've always been really awesome, and the tuxedo cat was the one cat that they wanted to keep. And then they were like, oh, you should take this one. And it was a girl. And I know that girl cats are bitches. And I was not having that. So there was a cat sleeping in the corner. And I'm like, who is this guy sleeping in the corner over here? And that was BB. And that's all he ever does now is sleep in the corner. They got their names because Sandy's a big Disney fan. So she named Simba Simba because he looks like Simba. And we couldn't figure out a name for B. We, we didn't have a name for him for so long. And then um, there's this rapper that I like. He's a big fat white dude. And his name is Big B. And I kind of knew that Sandy wasn't going to go for me naming the cat after a big fat white rapper. And so I was like, oh, Big B, because he's the big brother. And she went for it. So that's why he's Big B. We call him BB. I call him Justin Bieber. The Biebs. All kinds of nicknames. Simba doesn't really have a nickname. Simba Wimba, that's it. Simba is definitely the most friendly of the two. He just loves being in love. BB's been coming into his own lately. He never used to be very lovable. He's very standoffish. But me and him, we have a bond. That's my Biebs. He likes his back smacked. It's his favorite. Right?
and pet him so he could feel it. <sighs> this corner over here is all of my wedding. I'm not going to say junk because Sandy will smack me. But all of our wedding stuff that is in these crates that is waiting for the wedding to happen. Then I don't know what we're going to do with all these crates. Maybe store more crap in them. Put them somewhere else that's not right here because it's driving me crazy. About a year ago I bought a smart TV. And I set it up over here in the corner so that I could do all my gaming over here and not bother Sandy and she could watch her shows and I could be over here doing my gaming and then one morning the cats knocked it down and broke it. It wasn't even paid off yet. So I was thinking about this as my cat knocked a bunch of stuff off the counter while I was cooking earlier. You know back in the day cats were like super popular like in Egypt and like Cleopatra had cats and stuff like that. I wonder if cats were assholes like they are now back in the day. I wonder if they were like knocking things off onto their head while they slept like my cat did last night. He knocked a big water bottle onto my head. It was not like open. It didn't dump on me or anything but it fell and hit me in the head and it sucked and it's not the first time he's done it. This guy the first time I ever had company over at the house knocked a candle onto my friend's head. Kind of rude. I wonder if they did that back in the day. Those of you that don't like cats probably won't like this vlog very much but how could you not like cats? They're so cute and cuddly and they're not as obnoxious as dogs are. Dogs are like up in your face all the time and like wanting things all the time. You gotta take them outside every time they gotta poop. Like, that's too much work. This guy just goes in the litter box when he has to go and I clean it up. I've heard people say, oh, I don't want to dig out a nasty litter box and scoop out poop. You're doing the same thing when your dog poops and you got to pick it up. Except you're picking up warm poop with your hand. It may have a bag around it, but you're still feeling the warmth of a poo in your hand. I just scoop with the scooper and throw it in the trash can. Much easier than picking up warm dog poop. Just saying. All right, so the lemon bars have set and I just finished cutting them up and putting them in Tupperware. They're in the fridge now, don't you worry about that. But we are gonna taste test the lemon bars because I haven't had them. I'm not a big fan of powdered sugar on top of things like lemon bars or like sometimes people put powdered sugar on top of their brownies because sometimes I breathe when I eat and then I breathe in the powdered sugar and then I end up choking and spitting food everywhere and it's not the business. Pretty good. Very lemony. Sandy says they taste weird to her. They must not be as good as my sister's. Alright guys, that is it for me today. Thanks again to everybody who came out and joined us yesterday for World Baking Day. That was awesome. The treats are delicious in my belly. The people at work did not believe that I made those delicious cookies. And they thought that my boo made those delicious cookies. Nope. It was me. Thanks again for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing. All of that good stuff. All of it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another awesome vlog. Peace!